Before we get into the news, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. Thank you. James and Lisa Ferguson of Texas have been longtime Mule Days participants and sponsors. They noticed the importance of adding youth to the mule world to keep it alive and flourishing for generations to come. Our own Jesse Steele talks to James and Lisa to discuss awards they sponsor during the Mule Days events to help encourage the youth to participate, as well as an award for the over 55 crowd as well. They also discuss how important volunteers are to keep Mule Days running at the world-class level it does. Let's take a look. Uh, Lisa and I were talking and there's not a lot of youth in the mule and donkey industry. And my business background is Western wear. And the thing is, if you don't have any young ones coming up behind the older ones, it's a slow dying industry. And so that's one of the things we were wanting to do was we started sponsoring support the, youth. the youth awards to try to get more youth to, uh, to enter because it's important. We now, for the last, this is the sixth year, we've been doing that for like 10 or 12. This is the sixth year we've sponsored the Von Twitchell Memorial Award. Von Twitchell was, I mean, he always had a smile on his face. He, they still use his picture in different yeah. programs and postcards and everything else. He was like, he and Jim Bob Feller, one of the clowns that entertained, it was like they were the two faces of Mule Days, okay, as far as the audience was concerned. And so he passed away, and he had been coming pretty much since Mule Day started, and we didn't want his memory or legacy die. So what we did is we came up with an award. We even buy the belt buckle ourselves, and it's you have to be an amateur, number one. Number two, you have to be 55 years or older. And one animal, one rider, doesn't cost anything to go after the award or anything else. And that way, some of the older people who don't feel like they compete with the, the compete, can compete with the professional trainers or the professional trainers' clients that are younger, this gives them something to shoot for. And it's to, it's a totally unique, different buckle than what Mule Days gives, which I think makes it even more special. A huge volunteer community in, in town here. I can speak yes. for that. Yes. This thing could not operate without all the volunteers. Uh, the volunteers. We appreciate them. The show couldn't be put on without the volunteers. Can't say enough about them. At the gate, I mean, it's, it is a non-paid uh, job. Hectic. And they don't get a lot of compliments. <laughs> and uh, sometimes they don't get very many courtesies from some please exhibitors in, in, the, in, the, in the heat of the show. But, the uh, but we do appreciate them. Oh, the, yeah. this, this, they have a great bunch of volunteers. Like I said, the show couldn't go on without it. And, and we appreciate that very much, even more so this year. We're not waiting. Yeah, yeah. Has uh, COVID really messed up the whole mule world? I mean, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, basically all like all the stock shows, like Fort Worth Stock Show used to have one, San Antonio did, Houston did. All those shows got canceled because of COVID. We're hoping it comes back after this year in 2022. I think we'll be back to normal. But yeah, it was a disappointment. And I think that's why it made coming to Mule Days more important. Everyone has not been able to get out and see their friends at the Texas shows or whatever. So, you know, my there's other people here from Texas that um, we like to be around at the shows. And um, we haven't seen them since 2019, so. Thank you so much, James and Lisa, for taking the time to talk with us and for all that you have done for Mule Days each and every year. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we post a news story. Thank you, and have a great day.